Okay, YouTube, so I'm going to review Beck's Loser song. I felt like, you know, for most of the summer, late summer, August, September, I found myself listening to that song, and I finally got Mellow Gold at a garage sale. So I'm going to review the first single, Loser. Now this one is kind of a rap song, but it kind of is like a mockery of said rap song. This said rap songs just because the production is so, I mean, it really sounds out of a trailer park or someplace that is less, you know, have, having to do with money. And it works. I mean, that's the whole thing is, is it's so golden that it, it, this is ridiculous. And so when you start to listen to the lyrics, I looked it up on the internet because they confused me so much. And the whole thing they said was the lyrics are not supposed to make sense. So to, to me, what the song feels about is just someone who embellishes being a loser and the stuff that he or she does while doing it. You know, some of the stuff he'll say like, you get a parking violation and a maggot on your sleeve. Does that is that alluding to, you know, you're going to screw up if you listen to this and you might die also? I mean, these are just some of the things and be, babies in Reno with the vitamin D. You know, people go to I think that is Las Vegas, Reno 911, that sort of thing, but it I mean, Beck had the knowledge to make a song like this, which is actually kind of you know, just calling yourself a loser, it would seem you could have taken the petty route and just said, like, I don't have money, I live with my mom, I don't have a car, you know, just some of these various things. But the way that the lyrics go into the song, it almost makes you proud to be that sort of person that he's talking about. And, you know, do I care about that? You know, absolutely not. But it, it's pretty much like a rousing song to me just because it allows you to see the it allows you to see the cape it allows you to see the stuff that I don't even know what I'm trying to say um, you peer into the mind of someone like that I think especially considering where the time was made, like 1994, 1993 when he made it, I think that this was pretty much different because it was Generation X who were the fuck-ups, not, you know, the Millennials and Generation Z where it's at right now. You know, that was 22 years ago, 23 years ago, 24 years ago, so it's kind of... And the whole difference about what these people thought, you know, if you wanted to be a loser, it's not as if you could sit on YouTube and, you know, just be boring the whole time. It kind of, yeah, it was different back then. I don't know what people did, you know, if they read Mad Magazine, watched Star Wars, uh, watched Indiana Jones, uh mowed lawns i mean that's just that's the whole mentality i kind of wish that beck would have done more songs like that and had another hit now there is there is a close one called pay no mind pay no mind which i think was the second single it didn't chart but it still was released and had a video and i think that that's in full effect the hook is almost as good on that one as it is on Loser. That's pretty much one of the best parts about Loser is just the hook is, it pretty much was a staple of the 1990s. I love the hook on that song and I needed another six or seven songs on Mellow Gold to make it just like that, but yeah. So Beck definitely pulls it off, but I just don't know the whole idea.